Hey everyone, and welcome to Hemp Processing and Technology. Today, we'll be going over how to build a Kratky hydroponic setup. This is going to be a short one because quite frankly, a Kratky build is the easiest thing to set up. And no matter what size you choose as a water reservoir, the process will always be the same. You'll need to start with something that can store the water and use that as a water reservoir. Of course, the larger the reservoir, the more space the roots have to spread out, leading to a larger plant. Now it's important here to make sure that this container is light proof, as when filled with nutrient rich water. If exposed to light, this can create a breeding ground for algae. Now the next step is to find a way to suspend a plant above the nutrient water. And the most common method is to use a net pot filled with a grow medium. So for something like this large mason jar, it's a simple task of just dropping the appropriately sized net pot on top. And for this three and a half gallon bucket, you'll need to cut a hole to fit it in. Now as for the nutrient water, just fill it up to where the tip of the tap root will be. Remember that a portion of the roots will need to be exposed to the air for the setup to work. So you definitely don't want the seed starter medium to be in contact with the nutrient water if starting with the seedling. And I say seed starter medium because this method has a better success rate when starting with a seedling. So ideally, you'll want to transplant in a plant or seedling with an established root system. Once the bottom part of the root is touching the surface of the nutrient water, you can support the plant by surrounding it with hydrogen clay pellets, and then that's it. If you do want to start with the seed, you'll need the nutrient water to be in direct contact with the bottom of the seed starter grow medium, and that's it. Definitely don't have it higher than where the seed is located as that'll drown the seed. And both rock wool cubes as well as rabbit rooters work well for this setup. If everything goes according to plan, you'll never need to water the plant again until all the water has been used up in the water reservoir. And after that, if the plant isn't ready for harvest yet, you can either convert the setup to a deep water culture grow by refilling the nutrient solution all the way back up and then adding an air stone, or to keep it going as a crack key setup, refill just a bit of the nutrient solution to keep the air roots from drowning and then you'll need to constantly refill it every time it gets used up until the plant is ready for harvest. As for how much to refill, although I've seen people refill the nutrient water up to 50% of the water reservoir, I've been sticking with refilling only up to 25% of the water reservoir just to be safe. And that's been working pretty well for me. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. 
available at Amazon in print and digital, with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.